Entertainment Reviews here taking a look at Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince with the lion hat on her head. As you see, here's the front of the box, pop logo, new Harry Potter logo, Luna, side of the box, blue background with Luna and the pop logo. Back of the box shows you the other characters in Lave 4, which include Harry with Marauder's Map, Hermione with Tom Turner, Juan with Scabbers, Remus Lupin, Ginny Weasley, Luna with Lion Hat, and Peter Pettigrew. There's also a Barnes & Noble Ginny in her Quidditch uniform from Happily Prince, Remus in his Werewolf form, Hot Topic exclusive from Prisoner of Azkaban, and Harry with Firebolt box lunch exclusive from Prisoner of Azkaban. Here's a look at the side of the box, here's a look at the front, here's a look at the top. Let me get this open up and I'll be right back. Guys, here she is out of the box, and she looks great. Now, let's start off. Let, before we start off, let me know what you think of this right here. I found a white towel, and I decided to put it on the table to give it more to see if it... Uh, let, just let me know if uh, this helps you see the figure better. But, yeah. So, first up, we're going to take a look at her head, and I love the scope of the head. Her face is really nice. The eyeball paint is really good. The nose really nicely sculpted. The blemish on her cheeks is nicely painted. But what really makes this figure stand out is the hat. The lion hat. I love the sculpt of the fangs. Look really good. It bleeds a little but nothing too bad. Then you get to the lion part itself, and this looks really good. The sculpt on the nose, the black looks really nice, nicely painted, doesn't smear. The little dots where the whiskers would be look good. The sculpt of the eyes, the yellow eyes look good. The black around the eyes look good. The ears are nicely sculpted. I mean, this is a really, really great headpiece. You even have this like black band going all the way across as you see here. Looks really good, nicely painted, doesn't smear as far as I can see. But what really shines is the sculpt of the mane. I love the sculpt on the edges. I mean this is a damn great sculpt. All the beige and the tan, the brown. Mix in with the gold. I mean, look at the sculpt. Look at the design on the gold pieces, guys. That is really beautiful. Really, really great sculpt on the main, as you see. This is a really great sculpt. Then you have her hair underneath. And because Luna's hair is always curly, they actually sculpted it really nice. It's sculpted. It's curly. It hangs down. Really nice. The sculpt on it is really great. I love that it hangs down, especially on this side right here. The sculpt of her hair is really nice and it looks really good blending in with the hat and the mane of the hat. You can see the hair from behind the body. I mean, this is a really, really great head sculpt. I mean, I love this figure from the sculpt of the little mane. I mean, this is really, a really great figure. Now, when you get to her body, it's simple, but it is really nice. The sculpt on it is really great. As you see, she has a figure stand, and she does require it to stand on her own. But, yeah, really great. I love the sculpt of the shoes. I love how it's like a brownish on the bottom, and then right in this area here, and then the shoelaces. And then you got the pink, really nice, nicely sculpted, goes all the way around. You have the light blue mixed with the dark blue and the black on her socks. Really nice sculpt on the socks. The purple pants look good. Simple, but really good. And then she has a shredder underneath. As you see, it's kind of like a green greenish blue shredder has some gray on the uh, sleeves here but I love that they sculpted and painted these little purple dots going
going all over her sweater there. Really nice. You can actually see the fabrics sculpted into the sweater. And then you look at her hands. Really nice. Hands down to the side. They even gave her a little bug spider wing right there on this hand. But yeah, guys. This is a really great head sculpt. And this is a really great body sculpt. I'm a huge fan of this figure. Guys. As a fan of Lunar Lovegood, as a fan of Funko, and a fan of Harry Potter, I'm so happy they finally made a pop with Luna with the hat on her head. What do you guys think of this figure? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Here's a look at the front. Here's a look at the side. Here's a look at the back. Here's a look at this side. Here's a look at the front again. This is just a really great scope from the main to the lion. To the blush on her face. To the design of her outfit. This is an all out A+. Thanks for watching. Till the next video. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe down below. Along with checking me out on all my social media networks to the left. Thanks for watching. Till the next one. Bye.